Hi everyone, my name is Katarina and I'm a first year medical student. I also worked as a CNA for three years in top blood pressure clinics. Today I would like to teach you how to take blood pressure. I will be using my MDF stethoscope as well as my MDF blood pressure cuff. Different blood pressure cuffs have different markings. So make sure you are familiar with your blood pressure cuff. There should be a line or an arrow indicating how to correctly place it onto the arm. This line or arrow should align with the brachial pulse. To identify the brachial pulse, having the hand in anatomical position on the medial side, one fourth away should be the brachial pulse. Using your pointer finger and your middle finger, never your thumb, you will identify the brachial pulse. Medial side, one fourth, firmly putting pressure, you will find the brachial pulse. This is where the line or the arrow of the blood pressure cuff should be placed. The blood pressure cuff should be evenly on the arm. There we go. Before we start listening, we will have an estimated of the blood pressure. To do this, you will find the radial pulse. To identify the radial pulse, hand in anatomical position on the lateral side by the wrist using your pointer finger and your middle finger, never your thumb, you will identify the radial pulse. Once again, it will be right by the wrist and you should feel for a pulsation. Once you identify it with your other hand, um, you will pump up the blood pressure cuff. Now, when you will feel the pulsation and you can no longer feel it, that is your estimated systolic blood pressure. Um, say an example, you're doing it, you can no longer feel it, it's around 120, then you will add 20 to 30, and that will be the maximal you should inflate your blood pressure cuff. If you have 120 and it should be a maximum of 150, never inflate the blood pressure cuff to 200 or 260 in this situation. You will hurt your patient. Now that you found an estimated systolic, let's find an estimated diastolic. To find an estimated diastolic, you will deflate the blood pressure cuff and when you feel a pulsation again on the radial pulse, that is your estimated diastolic completely deflate the cuff before starting to listen to the blood pressure. When putting on your stethoscope, the ear pieces should be pointing out and away from you. When placing it into your ears, touch the diaphragm lightly and you should hear it. If you do not hear it, then turn your bell and you should hear it now when you tap it. You will place your stethoscope onto the brachial pulse. You can identify it again, medial side, one fourth, using your pointer finger and your ring finger. Identify the brachial pulse. Once identified, this is where you will put your stethoscope. At this moment, you should not hear anything. Most likely, you will not hear anything. Um, that's just a little tip. <laughs> you will place your stethoscope onto the arm and you will inflate the blood pressure cuff to a maximum of over 20 to 30. So if you're having an estimated of 120, you will inflate it to 150, and you will slowly start releasing pressure out of the blood pressure cuff. When you do this, you should start hearing a beat. The first beat out of a series of many will be your systolic blood pressure. If you miss the first beat, it is okay to close off your blood pressure cuff and de inflate it again, and then you will deflate it slower this time to make sure you catch the first beat out of many. So it will be beat, 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 and then it'll stop. And when it stops, that will be your diastolic. So once again, you inflate your blood pressure cuff 20 to 30 more than your estimated systolic. You will slowly deflate your cuff, and the first bump, bump, bump out of many will be your systolic, so let's say our estimated was 120, you can hear your first bump at 122 or at 118. Again, your estimated is not your accurate blood pressure. When you heat the first bump, let's say 122, will be your systolic and it'll go bump, 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 and it'll stop. That stop, it could be around you know, 76, it could be 86, it will be your diastolic. When looking, 
at the ranges, just letting you guys know, these are even numbers. So the first line above 80 or the first line above 100, it is going to be plus two. So it's gonna be 82 or 102. It is not 81 or 101. Just letting you guys know to make sure you get the accurate reading. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.